Howdy, howdy, everybody. Welcome back again to our little apartment project. Um, I am your host, Ramadi, and um, we've made a lot of progress. We've been busy taking out the mountain, knocking it down. Um, the facade here is beginning to take shape, as you can see. I'm reasonably happy about most of this so far. Um, what I kind of had planned for tonight was um, a little bit of patterning with some clay. Super boring, I know. Um, two, three, four. And um, what I also wanted to do was uh, start hollowing out some areas here on the right side and get them uh, ready for some shops. And, um, yeah, so I thought here as we're going in, um, this floor and then the second floor, uh, at least in terms of the facade, are going to be very similar. Uh, as you can see, I have avoided having to work in this section over here because the lag there is just horrible, and I don't know why. And we'll talk about that here a little bit later on, because if you have any ideas, I would love to hear them. Because I do not know what the major malfunction is um, in that area. So, yeah, anyway, there's um, all of that. And um, I didn't make everything that I wanted it to, did it? Oh, I need another piece of lapis. Um, yeah, so um, I thought we, you know, like I said, build some shops, get some clay going, finish up some patterns. And uh, I wanted to show you a couple of things that I have added in, specifically um, some chicken cookers. And I'm pretty happy with the chicken cooker so far. I, um, I installed them. Not going to run over there because it makes you run through that lag section. But I installed them um, right before I started doing the clay floor, which we're going to get to. Um, and, you know, this was the output right here. I don't think this is where it's ultimately going to end up being, but for right now anyway. Uh, and we've already got 28 chicken in there already. And it's maybe be been there um, two or three hours. So pretty good. A um, little higher yield than I was prepared for. Uh, you can probably see the racket. It's all down there underneath of us. <coughs> I'm going to get out of that lag chunk. Um... So this right here, I thought, would kind of be the center of all the shops. I, there's probably going to be, um, on that side, I, because of the lag, I don't know what we're going to do. I may make just that a straight, transparent wall so that you can look out. So there may be uh, six shops in this place, and a couple of them are going to be mine. Um, I am going to have a inexpensive bread shop because um, I have just a crazy amount of wheat. Uh, I farm, um, I'm OCD at farming, so yeah, tons of wheat. So I thought, you know, a little bit of a bread shop over here. Um, obviously, I wanted the free food type of things, so I thought that the bread would probably be free as well, because, I mean, who in their right mind is going to pay for bread? You know, not going to. Um, the chicken over here would be free. I've got some melons I need to build as well. I probably would build them not in the lag chunk. Um, there is conveniently uh, this little cave right back here. So I thought I would probably use um, portions of it for the uh, melon farm. And uh, I would pipe those in kind of the same way that we've done with the chicken, just using a very simple item elevator and then um, hopper into a chest. And ultimately my thought, since this thing is going to run a lot and I'm not done building it yet, was um, probably expanded out, you know, it's down there, so I'd expand it over this way a little bit. Um, and then this hopper is probably going to, or the, uh, not the hopper, the item elevator right there is going to carry it up higher. And then there'll be like a little series of chests that'll run down and then into the back of this thing, which if you've looked closely at my bank and my casino, you'll know that this is actually a vending machine. And um, push the button and get chicken, nice and simple. Um, so I thought we'd do the same thing uh, with the melons, and that we will uh, put in. There is a tutorial on my chicken farm. I did go ahead and post it. Um, the one I posted for now is incorrect. It's not right. 
Um, so I am going to have to update it, and that's no big deal. I'll try to get that up, uh, you know, hopefully this weekend as well. But it's wrong, uh, and it's wrong because I left a hopper underneath the, uh, <laughs> the dispenser on the bottom. So when your chickens lay eggs, uh, they do not get spit out by the dispenser. They actually get... Um, put into the uh, ending chest right here because the hopper just sucks it out beneath the dispenser. So newbie mistake on Romedy. That's my fault. Sorry about that. We will get it fixed. Um, so yeah, other than that though, like I said, I wanted to do just a little, oh, there it goes. We got chicken. We got chickens. Or feathers. Or a lot of feathers. Who knows? Um, I need to add, I guess, a little bit of a small hopper sorter so that we don't have a bunch of feathers to dispense out of there. Unless people like feathers, then, I mean, they can have feathers. You know, I don't really care, I guess. They can take feathers all they want. Um, yeah, so we're just going to fall to my death, apparently. So while we're down here, let's take a look at the chicken farms. Um, I am going to stay here for just a moment. We are going to turn the sound down. Um, because, oh my god, chickens. Um, but yeah, I've really walled these off quite a bit. There's no chickens in there, which is a little odd. Bunch of little chicks, and a bunch of little chicks there. And a bunch of little chicks here. So this is good. So I wonder why this one's not performing then. Because um, it really should be. So we're going to smash this bit here. Um, that's why, right there, we've got too much cobble. Too much of it. Still going too fast, I think. Troubleshoot the chicken. And now there's no cobble in the clock. So there we go. So the clock was wrong. So I bet this thing is just crammed with eggs. Uh, each time it shoots, there's another egg falling in. And this was on, so it was powering the dispenser, so it wasn't allowing things to enter in. So, oh my goodness, we are going to get overloaded with chicks out. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, already. Wow. Okay, so lots of chicks there. Um, so this is, uh, it was only operating at three-quarter capacity then. This is going to be scary. We're going to have so many little chickens bug out of there now, I'm afraid. Well then, well, whatever was wrong with it, we sure did fix that. So good. That is good. So let's uh, wall this up again then, I guess, just like that. And now uh, we'll come back here and make sure it is going to shoot eggs. Oh, my God. There <laughs> are so many eggs in there. Um, so, yeah, this is the base of the item elevator. Um, this is a wonderful little contraption that was thought up. It's running right now. Um, thought up by um, who he, he must be a child, uh, like an 8 or a 10-year-old. Um, by the name of AC Tennis, and he um, is just so smart, super, super smart. Um, but all it does is it's a series of droppers that are facing up, and one dropper then spits an item into this dropper. And in order to get that to happen, you have to al alternately power each of the droppers on the way up. So you just invert a bunch of torches, um, just like this, using... Um, blocks. And then this thing right here, all of these repeaters, is just a, uh, this is a timer, a very simple timer. And then this is um, just a little clock that's built in. So repeater, power redstone, turn off torch. And then, uh, you know, when these turn off over here, then it allows the clock to run and it just powers everything going up in sequence. So yeah, that's pretty much the idea there. Um, and so then all you've done is I've got four farms right now, four of these chicken farms. Each has 20 chickens in the top. Um, so you're getting an egg. Now this is uh, absurd. You know, this is surely incorrect. But you're averaging an egg about every 10 seconds, if I've done my math right. And one in eight eggs statistically give you a, a little baby chick. Um, so you're getting, you know, quite a lot of chicken that should be getting cooked, you know, roughly every minute and a half. Um, after you have this thing fully operational, you should get a piece of chicken. So, not too bad. Um, I do want to add, eventually, I think, four more of them. But I'm not going to do that right now. Um, uh, I want to see how badly it's going to lag upstairs first. So, why don't we go ahead and noob tower our way out of here? Because on the other side of all those chicken farms, 
is unfortunately um, the lag zone. So, um, that was fun. Glad you all came along with me on that little adventure. I appreciate it. Um, kind of an unexpected adventure, but what can you do uh, when you plummet to your death like that anyway? Um, so this is really the very first time I have played around with stained clay. And I have to tell you, I am super impressed. I love stained clay now. We're going to see a lot more of this. Um, you're also, of course, going to see a lot of carpet work, since I am big on the wool. Love the carpeting. Um, but we're going to see a lot more stained clay now. And I thought, you know, if I could actually find enough of the stuff, that I would use it to do the walls in a lot of the shops. Um, don't know about that now, as it's already kind of occurred to me that I am going to require um, just so much clay, like just a, a, a stupid amount of clay is, is what I am going to require <laughs> to build this thing. And I don't know, uh, you know, it's already going to be a lot of coal. Um, I've already resigned myself to the fact that it is going to take just, again, a stupid amount of coal. Um, I don't know how much time I really want to spend mining. Don't get me wrong, I like mining. Um, just about as much as the next guy. But, you know, my real passion with this is I want to build it. Um, I want to build something that is different. Uh, for me, I want it to be difficult. You know, this is, like I said, my very first large structure. So I want to try to avoid <laughs> having to mine like 8 billion things of um, clay if possible. But that's okay. So here, we're almost done here with this pattern then. I hope this wasn't too horribly boring. Um, hopefully, a little talking there was nice. I don't think it took me too long to do that. I really like this pattern. I really think this is neat. Um, I'm proud to say that this was something I actually came up with. This was not something I found online. I'm sure it is out there. Um, I'm not going to claim to be the first one with any of this because that is just super egotistical. Um, but I am proud that I came up with this pattern on my own anyway. So yeah, there it is. Um, we are uh, not going to do the rest there, just because that gets into super laggy zone. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the improvements. Um, the video, usually mine go about 20 minutes. I think we're going to cut this in just a hair short. I'll come back out here. Uh, we will run out on the bridge so we can really take a look at the facade here. Um, obviously, I need to add the lights to this side. I've got some concerns about adding so many lamps. Um, I do not have a super great computer, but it, in terms of Minecraft, is fairly middle range. Um, I want everybody to be able to come in here and really enjoy it. So we will have to see how much more of the lamps I'll be willing to do. Um, so this floor and then the next floor up are going to look fairly the same. Obviously, the black pillars are going to go all the way to the top. Um, this front here, I think there is on that second floor going to be a shop, a rather large shop. I think it'll be mine. Um, that will look out over our beacon here. And then after that, going up, um, the third floor and up, what you're going to see are balconies, right? Uh, not right there, about right here. Uh, but you'll see balconies kind of on the outside. So a player is going to have, you know, very definitely their own little outdoor area that they can come out to. Um, I'm thinking about having only two apartments per floor. Uh, so eight floors of apartments, you know, only 16 apartments. It's not going to be a very populated building, um, but I think it'll be kind of a very, not, you know, my goal was to make it a very swanky building. Um, so we will kind of continue on with that. Um, so I think I'm going to stop, I guess this is episode five. I'm going to stop it there. And um, I will um, dig out, I think, a little bit on this side for the smaller shops, like a bread shop, you know, for me, um, and then a couple other little shops down here. Um, and then I will come back so we can kind of do the designing. And then, you know, obviously the back of this shop right here is going to be kind of glassed. Um, I don't know if I want to be able to walk behind on those shops. I, I just don't know. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Um, I 
really, you know, it's going to be useless. You're not going to have anything unless you walk through the shop. So anyway, that's okay. We'll come back. We'll make that decision. And um, yeah, I'll see everybody in just a minute.